everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Welcome to my video today. Today's video is all about the Achilles heel that cruise lines have. Those of us who want to go on a cruise, this is what we're looking at when we have a day at sea. It's a wonderful way to go. When we pull into a port like, like Venice, these are the images that we want to see. This is what we've been sold by the uh, tour companies, by the cruise lines that all is well. We're welcome here with open arms. Any place we go, we are more than welcome. Well, it's not quite the case uh, everywhere you go. For, in for instance, here, Bar Harbor, Maine, the beautiful citizens of uh, Bar Harbor, uh, they just had a vote. They voted against building a uh, port, a dock facility that could handle 500 cr passenger cruise ships or larger. In other words, any cruise ship with 500 or more passengers, you're not welcome in our town. Stay out in the harbor, tender in. We don't want you just walking off the ship and uh, flooding our little downtown area. I mean, after all, Bar Harbor is a small place. It only has 8,000 odd voters. And uh, as it is already with the summertime, when passengers come off the cruise ships, they head to the information booth and they overrun the place. Uh, it's a bit much. And so Bar Harbor is trying to limit the number of passengers uh, to come in by at least not building a dock facility. Now, you know, you can look at this gorgeous scenery. You can see why passengers would want to come here. But those who come here in the summertime for their cottages, they want to get away from everything. They don't want to be surrounded by tourists everywhere. I can understand that. Meanwhile, in Charleston, South Carolina, there is a battle brewing. Six years, there have been court cases going on now between the citizens of Charleston who want to preserve the downtown area, the historical area, and the port of Charleston. The port of Charleston is open for business. They want more business. They want a brand new uh, terminal building. They've agreed to build one if, if they get the win. The residents are fighting mad, saying no way. There's smoke coming off the smokestacks. The parking is out of control. The noise, it is ridiculous. We don't want it. And the battle is now going to the Supreme Court in South Carolina. We'll see how that goes. Back to Venice. How would you like to be the tourists on the left trying to visit St. Mark's Square and then have a riot police line separating you from the residents who are saying, get the hell out of my city. This is becoming worse and worse and worse. The Italians are passionate, and there's a whole bunch of folks in Venice that do not want the cruise ships coming to town anymore. It's too much, too soon. They want serious restrictions. We'll see how that plays out. Over in Germany, where it's you know quite sophisticated, but people are quite well behaved this past weekend, in Kiel, Germany, near Hamburg, Look at this. Protesters held up the Zuer Dam from Holland America for five hours. The ship could not leave port because they are protesting pollution from cruise ships. Well, there's pollution from everywhere, folks. It's not just a cruise ship issue. It's a mankind issue. But the protesters had an easy target. They just uh, canoed all around the ship and created havoc. Five hours it took for the uh, police to get rid of them. In the meantime, the island of Mallorca in Spain, a beautiful place, They've got a problem. Too popular. Uh, three, four, five cruise ships a day are coming into port, dropping off 15,000 tourists all day long who want to do, well, this. And uh, join the others who are doing this already who fly in. Uh, the folks in Mallorca are saying, no, 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 this is too much. Let's cut back one ship a day, not four ships a day. It's getting ridiculous. We'll see how that plays out. It's not all peaches and cream everywhere you go. And as a cruise ship passenger, you have to ask yourself, am I really welcome at some of these ports? Uh, sometimes you got to do a little bit of homework. Now, the city that's really been uh, having troubles, the folks in Dubrovnik here, where they shot a lot of scenes for the TV show called Game of Thrones, Poor Dubrovnik. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a beautiful little area down there. The problem is gazillions of cruise ship passengers and regular tourists coming in by bus, train, and everything else. And poor Dubrovnik is just being overrun with thousands and thousands of people who want to adore the place. In effect, they're loving it to death. How would you like to be a cruise ship passenger on this tour? Are you having fun yet? Can you get a nice selfie? I mean, isn't this sad? Just goes to show you how overcrowded some of these cities are. Dubrovnik has put uh, restrictions in place for, I think, 8,000 passengers a day only now instead of 20. We'll see how that goes, too. 
Join me, folks, Monday to Friday, 5 o'clock Eastern Time, Saturdays at 2. We talk cruise ships live six days a week. We love talking about cruise ships. We love to go cruising. We don't want to harm the environment. We don't want to make anyone mad. We just want to get away, and this is kind of what we're looking for. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you hate this video, give me a thumbs up. Cut me a break. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon. You'll be alerted every time I do a new video. We love cruising. I'd love to have you join me. Take care, everybody. Talk to you later.